In this episode of Horse Shelter Heroes, Doc is out. We received some awesome donations. We have a lot of adoptions and a whole lot more in this latest episode of Horse Shelter Heroes. So not this last auction, but the auction before the auction houses aren't allowed to do Coggins anymore. And they said they were gonna send us the Coggins and never did. So we're playing catch up now. So we have about 15 Coggins and many other things that we're doing today. So it's a very busy day. Um, so Duke, Dr. Myers did his teeth on intake and they were really, really bad and he wanted to have them done again. Do you want to do that this week? Who's that? Week? Duke. Duke, yeah, we can do it. Okay. Duke, I should have remembered. He said he'd start until you got here. Hey, they feel pretty good. They swap side. Oh, wow. I feel like that side was worse. Well, it is. You feel? He's got all his teeth on that side. Oh, there's some sharp spots yeah, there. Yeah, that's not good. Captain You'll Red is getting his coggins. We are in the sidebar now, and a lot of the horses that we're doing pulling coggins on are in here. It just started raining again, so it's nice to be in the barn. We're just gonna get some coggins on Maya now and then run the rest of them through the chute. She was transferred from another organization. They got her from an auction. They were told that she was just a brood mare. Here we go. Joey's getting his Coggins. This is Lorelei. She's gonna get her Coggins pulled. So this is Bo. Who is this, Jess? This is Venus. Can I pet you? This is Possum. Hi, Possum. It's rare we get already gilded ones. Yeah. He was, though. Uh, Trigger came in. He was recently gelded, um, but his hind end just seems to be off. I think it, he's got a kneecap that's trying to come out. He's got a dislocated kneecap, I believe. Has anybody right, ridden him see what he does? No, he's right. because he's barely, halter he's barely halter trained. That's problematic too, then. Yeah, and, and what, six months? he was gelded six months ago, and he still thinks mares are the best thing in the whole world, and he okay. runs, sure he, he can't be with mares. He can only be with geldings. Okay, he, you know, on a little score sheet, that would start totaling up there. Do we have yeah. points on the score sheet? Yeah. We're done over here. Now we're gonna head to the 10 stall barn. This is Hickory, he's going to get his Coggins pulled. When he came in, he was the horse that had the really bad cut about his eye and he's just healed amazing. It looks absolutely wonderful. Um, he's gonna get his Coggins pulled today. He is blind, so Doc is just being a little careful with him, but he's a super sweet guy. We are heading now from the 10 stall barn up to quarantine. Try to park it in here so we don't get the seats wet. This Sweet is potato real. is getting her coggins done. And Doc's just doing a little wellness check on her. Mm, me and Sarah would fight over you if I had a pasture fence. We're gonna take that as a win. Gotta win one every now and then to keep y'all calling. So this was the donkey that had the growth on the yes. side of its lip. Maybe he can get a date now. Maybe, you know. he, maybe he can get a date. We'll have to see about that. Jesse can be his date. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta have a better name than Arthur. Look at that. That is pretty crazy. So that's where his growth used to be. Right and now, wow, look at that. That's well, Arthur. that felt good. I don't know why. That's Wait awesome, Arthur. We're gonna castrate him and make the world a better place. This is Pip. Doc just left, we just finished the weekly vet visit. We had lots and lots of Coggins to do today. A lot of horses from the June auction. 
The auction never sent the Coggins, so we went ahead and pulled those. And we did um, a gelding and just as many other things. The little donkey, Arthur, that came in at the last auction, many of you guys might have known, he had a really big growth um, hanging off of his bottom lip, but that's all gone now, so um, I bet he's feeling so much better. But Phantom, what are you doing? Phantom <laughs> is so happy right now. Even mm -hmm. though it's starting to rain again. Well, I had a great few days away and um, went to West Virginia. Hello everyone, I am coming to you from the mountains of West Virginia. And usually I'm at the shelter and um, there's a lot going on. This is Bella, she's my awesome little rescued Chihuahua buddy. Um, she is just such a sweet little dog, I got her from a Humane Society and she is my little companion. Um, a lot of people think it's funny because I rescue big horses and big animals and then I have this precious, precious little baby that's so tiny. She's like six pounds. But went to West Virginia and now I'm back and I heard that there's a bunch of cool stuff on my desk. So, wow. Hey, Christine, I'm going to need to know what all this is. Yes, so while you were gone, we got some really neat things in. How um, fun. These are some Peter Stone models that a lady named Eva, she hand painted them hand for us. Hand painted it's them. It's so cool. Wow, that is. Even has Bruno. Oh, <laughs> there's Parsi. Parsi. How cool. And little baby Benjamin. <laughs> oh, wow, that's so awesome. Horse shelter heroes. Wow. So that is beautiful. And do we know what this, this is? This is, yeah, this is actually Eva on one okay. of her, her rescue her, her horse. Rescue horse. Yeah. Wow. That is so cool. And I heard Doc got one of these too. I heard. I have no Yeah. <laughs> no, he's he I have a picture of it and he's like, check oh, this out. That's he's, so cool. he's like, it's the first time I got fan mail. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Very nice. So and then what about what about these? Yeah, so these are from a different person, Pam. She sent them over. Is it the Pam in Arizona? Right. Yeah, yeah, she's from Arizona. She has been such a faithful donor she, for so yeah. many years. She so she's these. yeah, she got all of these wow. done for us, and she told them um, told us we could use them in whatever way that we wanted to, um, whatever way would be most helpful. Nice. She sent nice. a cute little note too. Awesome. Wow. Yeah. Well, these these Isn't are that incredible? gorgeous. Be hand painted. Yes. Have all the cool little artwork on there. Wow. And what was her name that, that did? Eva. Eva. Well, yes. thank you, Eva. I love them. <laughs> find a special spot for them. And and there's her rescued horse. Romeo. Ah, Romeo is gorgeous. <laughs> Pam, thanks so much for sending these and for your faithful support over the years. I just saw your name in here and I know I have seen that name come across as a donor multiple times over the years. So thank you so much and totally love these. These are awesome. She isn't quite held to broke yet. That's fine. I'm working on another one right now because uh, I, have, I have a little two-year-old. Yep. Um, it's just a matter of trying to get her a friend. <laughs> she's just not like we haven't halt like she's not halter broke yet but I've been working her in the round pen and doing some of the round pen stuff and just working on rubbing on her some so I can show you like what we've done with her so far and yeah if you don't mind she's just paying attention yeah she's got her ears on you too oh yeah and she's built really well she is she's very stout and stocky and like and she had no problem like the first time I had like the join up with her she turned right to me like she doesn't, she didn't second guess the join up. I think she's got a good brain. Yeah. She is, a, she is a lot of try and like want to, rather than never want to be around people, she can be interested. Do you want to do anything in here with her or? I'm just having fun looking. I'm having fun looking at her. I'm not gonna look at you. I'll let you just do it on your own time. You'll come home. 
So they're interested in looking at some ponies, so we're just gonna go see what we can show them. Uh, Jessie's seven, six months. She looks absolutely perfect for, especially like with my filly, like they just look like they'd be the perfect team uh -huh. in a way. Do you want me to put a halter on him? Or just yeah, or um, if we need to get our own, we'll have to go to the store real quick and come back. We have that. some that we set like in our store. All right, if you want to come in our store in here. We're thinking that his head is going to be too big for these ones, but I'll try and find a bigger one and we can see if it'll work. Okay. The quarantine, do you have other horses at your facility? Just the one. Okay. We just encourage you to quarantine them for just a couple of weeks. Um, just as traveling the stress, they could get a snotty nose or something like that. Okay. She hasn't had any sickness here or anything. So. I think we followed y'all's TV series for the longest time. And I actually have some friends that are back in California right now. And they said when they get out of California, that they want to apply to adopt from y'all as well. I say wherever because we used to have a Tennessee Walker mare who'd walk herself into the house and we, we'd all be sleeping because it'd be nighttime. She'd just walk herself into the house and sit in the living room till somebody came out. And I had to get her a friend. I was like, we're traveling three and a half hours. It's not fair to her to travel that alone. Go on. Smile, guys. Oreo. <laughs> So we just got three surrenders that came 800 miles from Pennsylvania, so I bet they're happy to get off the trailer. They all seem pretty relaxed being here, so we're happy to have these surrenders. He's a good boy. How tall is he? Yeah. Oh yeah, that doesn't bother you at all, does it? Yeah, I'm down to see you ride them, ma'am. That's a good saddle. <laughs> oh. Did I get half of it at least? No, oh, here. I can re swing it. Well, I think the syrup caught it. Caught the uh, rear cinch. Well, right. that's a, a mess. It oh. is. <laughs> Actually, here, hang on. There. Wow. So you guys think you want to adopt him? Yeah. Spill out everything in yellow on there. Okay. <laughs> Wait, do I have that on right now? Okay. You guys, all you little ones, just want to come over in this corner back, Christine. Make sure you all stay safe today. So he's just now learning to lead and stuff, so he's not totally comfortable with touch. We've just been working on getting better. She used a catch pin to catch him, but he's a year old. Very beautiful. What are you guys kind of looking for? Oh, just a good companion. Yeah. You're looking to ride down the road? Yeah, 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 definitely. Kids are really excited about that part. Yeah. Tiny. But you're willing to train and stuff. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I've got uh, my sister and brother-in-law are really big into horses. and They probably help you out a little yeah, bit. Yeah, oh, for sure. I was going to say, you have a trainer if you need it. Yep. But we're getting him a good start. He's just yeah. it's been about a week. He's been in halter training. But yeah, you're welcome to walk around in you, here with him. Do you think he would do good with sheep? Yeah. Yeah, we have yeah. a couple of sheep at home. Yeah. She, she's kind of in retirement, but mm -hmm. she'd do good with the kids. 
So she's got a wound we've been doctoring, but I can tell you how to do that if you end up interested in her. So this one, you think the kids could ride? And... Yeah, they could sit on her, especially if you're like around or if there's other mm -hmm. horses to follow. She's really chill. She's <laughs> big. Hi. Do we look good together? <laughs> And with her, she's on like a scoop of senior feed and a scoop of alfalfa. You guys want a few minutes to talk? You, what are you thinking? Uh, I like them both. I kind of like the other one too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's easy to fall in love. Hello. Do you want to come home with us? So they are going to be adopting Nutmeg and Cole. Your bags for them. And a bag of treats. Go, oh, look at me! <laughs> he just wants to sniff you. Okay, I will take that. Yes, it'll be carefully so. watched over. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, there you go. You want to go and get that installed in big red? Yes. That would be awesome. Okay, let's go. Yeah, I don't know how to do this though, so we'll see how it goes. Is it not centered or is it? Let's see. All right, there we go. So this is Jesse. And this is Maddie. You'll be working with both of them today. So any questions or anything you have, you can ask them. Okay. And this is Harper. Okay. Very. He's been trimmed by the farrier. Okay. Has... Does he do well with feet? He did really good. Yeah. yeah. Okay. He, he's new to it and a baby, but he's okay. not been kicky at all. Well, that's good. How? I'm sorry. You probably said this already. How old? He's he's coming too. So I'd say okay. a year and a half. -ish. Okay. I know. You're if you want to walk him around, you could. And okay, we'll see if that helps. Rub him afterwards. Hi. Hi. He came in with a bunch of babies that had never been handled, as far as okay. we could tell. And he did come through the auction. Okay. But I don't think anyone had done much with them, really. It didn't seem like. Okay. He's such an old man in a little guy's <laughs> body. And, move too fast. and that's what I was kind of looking for because I wanted to find something, like I said, that was at least halter. Um, just because I have never, without the assistance of someone else, done anything with completely unhandled horses. Do you think you want to adopt him? I do. Yeah. I like him. He's laid back and he's already halter broke, which I appreciate <laughs> you guys a lot. <laughs> We're so excited no. for Harper and you. Thank you. I appreciate it. Hi. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Thank you. Bunch of feral cats coming in. So it's farrier day today. We have popcorn and Duke and Maya getting their feet done today. 
Okay, buddy. Let's see if we can get you took care of here. I just figure if we can hit him one more time. How can you not love popcorn? <laughs> popcorn, you're gonna be okay, buddy. We gonna take care of you. I'm gonna try to take off some toe and get him stood up as best we can. I'm not too concerned about the next one. That one there, we'll, we'll see what we do here. Well, maybe he just thinks he's got better ideas. <laughs> it's really sad because you gotta take all this off. Awesome, let's see, you're going to wear, ooh, I bet you were an alt, yeah. You were an alt, you're a big horse. We're gonna put front shoes on her. And uh, she's probably, has she been tender in the front? Yeah, she has. A little tender in the front, so this is gonna help protect the hoof walls and hopefully get the horse, where it's not giving in the front end. Get it back sound. And not really long, but we don't wanna take too much. We wanna take just enough to, Get a good level foot. What I want it to do is I want this shoe to fit the foot and I've got the foot level and flat. And so now I want this, I want the ends brought in to protect all of that hoof wall. It goes all the way around to the back of the frog. And also with these horses, if you make them feel trapped, it makes things worse where I can put my right knee right in front of their leg and it gives them something to keep them from pushing their leg forward. Flies are a must. If you don't have flies in a barn, you don't have a barn. I, mean, I wouldn't have a barn without flies. I would think something was majorly wrong. And I would say from the looks of everything, this horse is gonna come out just fine. He's gonna have really nice feet on him. And all I hear is, it's not what Tawny would do. It's not what Tawny would do. Yeah. <laughs> She's a mess. She's in bed asleep. She had a rough day. She had a, well, I didn't wake her up and she's gonna blame it on me, but she didn't get up, so. She probably stayed up all night watching. She's watching Horse Plus all night, I imagine. So we did one donkey and two horses today. We threw some front shoes on. A couple of these horses, they're a little tender on the rocks. So we're gonna call it a day. Everything turned out good. It looked good. Yes. We've got good feet on Proud them. Proud of that donkey. Popcorn, his feet are coming around big time. I'm really impressed with them. So <laughs> I think he's on the road to recovery. The concrete guys are here to prep the new vet barn um, for concrete. It's gonna be a lot of work and it's gonna take a ton of concrete, more than a ton. It's gonna take a, a lot of concrete to get this done. So I'm really sorry everyone because we are going to be ending the episode right here and continuing it next week. Uh, we're splitting this episode up because we have another organization coming in for mentoring and we're not gonna be able to have time to release another episode next week with all the editing and everything because we'll be mentoring and filming a lot uh, this coming week. So you'll just have to watch what happens uh, and for this episode next week. We'll be sending it out but please remember our auction rescue. We'll be going to the auction and we need your help to help rescue horses. We're gonna to try to rescue 30 horses at this upcoming auction in a few days. And we really need your support to help us rescue shelter and protect horses across the United States. So please make your donation and um, you'll get to see what happens. And then in this episode, you'll just have to be patient because it will be continued next week. <laughs>